At least I didn't die, right? I'm okay. That's all that matters. The, the show must go I on. As well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. Do we get a cool well, Tony Stark thing in my chest? Know, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, uh. Doctor Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only Swinehart? one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> I gotta Don't find go Crane. looking for any more fights. How's everyone else? They all make it. They're fine. They're not dead. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Yay! Nobody died. I didn't They're mess up. Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said: the stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. What's that supposed to mean? It's not up and, to me. Uh, eat more chicken. Look. Eat I'm more chicken? Is that because you're Swineheart? You're like a pig doctor? I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. Again, what's that supposed to mean? Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. Who's that? The town is starting to find out. Oh, God. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? What, not Mr. Wolf? Just Big B? All right. Nice to see you too, Doctor. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch What is he, Humpty Dumpty or the magic mirror? So, I guess that's the plan. Currently. Just wait for the mirror? That's the plan. Just wait for the mirror? It's all we have right now. What the hell is going on? Some fucked up Just, shit, clearly. I don't know what the Tweedles hey, get sketch. out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? From what I saw at the open arms... Everything points to Crane murdering Lily. It's got to. I mean, what else could have happened? adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? Faith, Faith, Faith. It doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. No? He's... All right. He was Fine. a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. My want gloves Thanks there, buddy. Tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. <laughs> no, it doesn't. At least, I hope so. For Don't be sake. so naive, Snow. Can I, um ask you a question sure it's kind of personal and I don't want to offend you sure it's just when stuff hits the fan like like it did tonight it feels like before we came to the city it feels kind of like home like and bad I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside you kind of Enjoy it when things go wrong. We saying I'm a sociopath? Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. No. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Uh, hey guys? We have a problem. What We're missing it? one piece. I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Of course what it is. What do you mean, missing a piece? Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane get something not... after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting the is hard an option. Way. 
No. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. Do real detective work. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. Not if he was he's smart. A freak, but he was never that smart. Okay. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Yep. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that. Never mind that. Come help me look. Poor Buffkin, just getting ignored. Go get drunk again, buddy. Examine the desk. Find some clues. Anything in his inbox? What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. You don't want to know. I want to know. I think it's better if you don't know. Don't coddle me, okay? I've seen more than you know. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Sure. Snow, you, you couldn't have known. There's no way! No, I couldn't. He's a crazy psychopath who just like to look at you and Come on, do stuff to you. Looking. With... Ugh. It's a creep show, man. Ichabod Crane, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority. Best, Wayland Smith. I don't think he gave two fucks about that place. Just uh, throwing that out there. Dear Mr. Ichabod Crane, I am writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment, and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross, and I'd really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue. Oh, I got that stupid feeling like the sneeze is coming on. I'm trying to, I'm gonna be trying to keep my handy on the mute, mute button just in case it does. Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't write out that room as it is, as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. Did Man. Did ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Hmm, it's locked. Okay. The Office of Business... Okay. Huh. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. That's a good well, question. Yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. But <laughs> And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You Lee? Called, me to... called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? Of course. We don't know what You're a weird happened. man, dude. Oh, please. Of course. Creep me out. Look, this just You're the wrong ear pierce, too. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. Why did you say that? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. Bluebeard, why do you care? Any position to turn away help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. 
literally invest it, since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea. How do they not have computers or anything set up? Like backup files. In charge in the first Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spin my money? I'm well, heading this I've investigation. Been doing that unofficially for years. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. You don't. You have your own money in mind, you prick. That's all you care about. <sighs> all right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. Yeah, but how do we know? <laughs> that he'll be there at Takes two. all the credit, buddy. So you that deserve gives it. us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. Yeah, that's gonna happen. The few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? They know something, but it we don't know where they are. It what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. You gotta go with I the safe really bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just, you just got here! Go up there alone, alright? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh. Now it's evidence. Stay out Before of it. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Yeah, because that's a logical this option. This is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't you have probably time hear to us. worry about it now. Where are you going to go, Bigby? To the witch. Or Holly, I guess. So you leave oh, Jesus. Me alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Oh, God. She's gonna. Uh -huh. Going to Holly's bar. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see it's what makes them, It's what makes the most Perfect. sense. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't. I honestly don't. It's kind of winging it. Hopefully this turns out okay for me. <laughs> He's asleep, you fucking idiot. He didn't even give me a chance to explain. Oh, uh, yeah, use the shoulder you got shot in, you prick. Knock. Close. 
Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, it, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Not here for you. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Why you being all buddy buddy with me? Didn't. Uh, Friend. What? Yeah. He's a sure. traveler, a weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? You're drunk. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. I am the Eggman. Hmm. Lost cat. Find it. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Brand I'm good. Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that <laughs> fucking guy says? Or what you say? You clearly don't. You are one badass motherfucker. Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um... Is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Great. Well, so this is a waste of time. Back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia. For the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, so it's very, like very nice high. Like in the Wolf of Wall Street. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Bogey. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate. And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Help me out! We'll get to whatever you're here for in a second. Oh, God damn it! That funeral back there, that was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. It was, but yeah. that was Tweedledee and Tweedledum's fault. Nah. Talking a Bigby now, okay? <laughs> Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away, though, didn't they? Yeah. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. Yeah, cause I'd kick your ass. You don't know I what's up. clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast, all of us, fellas. Oh my place. God! I picked the wrong place. Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, what? yeah, I know, I know, and I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, God damn, I have friends that are exactly like me. this, and they piss me Take off. Two seconds. As a show of good faith, and after we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Brand Bigby didn't come here. Fine. To get with Fine. Him. We'll do it. We'll have a fucking drink. I'll have one drink, and then we'll fucking find Lily's yeah. shit, and then we'll go kill Crane because I just feel like killing that motherfucker. That's all I want to do. All right, now help me. Uh oh. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my God fucking damn mother, it. so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I absolutely cannot babysit you dumbasses right now. And whatever this is, so we can just move past it. Yes. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. 
I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. God damn it. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? Uh, don't put me in this. Whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Just give me time, buddy. Everything's a problem when I want to talk. But when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. So this was a big ass waste of time. God damn it. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't Fuck. wake her if I were you. All oh, time to be sneaky. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm going to pass out. <laughs> what a day. Am I right, Sheriff? And what he's gone. Day. Gren won't remember this. <laughs> that's fucking genius. Dude, she could, like, tear me in half. Oh, sweet Jesus. Why would I look at the cot? Why would I look at the cot? What does that have to do with Lily at all? Oh, god damn it. Every time I click on something, it's gonna fucking... Oh, god. Uh, I'm not touching Holly. That's not happening. Oh, there's some shit. Oh, 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 oh! Grab it. Grab it. Don't kick that fucking box of alcohol again. <sighs> we should probably take this box up. Not you, uh, Woody. Uh, oh. <sighs> Woody? Yeah, sure. Woody, bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. Okay. So she was kind of okay with it? Dude, we gotta go. Didn't care about her at all. She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. Of course I cared. I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. I don't know where this is going. This is gonna get awkward. God damn it! I should have went for the book. I should have went for the book. I'm not gonna answer another question of hers. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. I don't look I'm anything sorry, like the woodsman. Honey. I'm sorry for what happened. I'll make it up to you. Ah, sure you will, kid. When the rivers turn coarse, and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies. Uh, the glamour tuber, the book, the glamour... Book, book. <laughs> gotta be something in this book. There's gotta be something in this motherfucking book. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. Why couldn't he? I just don't know what Big B's doing. If he if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. 
I don't know. I don't know he's why he's trying to do right. Up. He's just he's trying to do what's right. That's all you he can think do. So. Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. Will she remember any of this? Oh boy. Oh boy. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. But which one? Oh God. Hello, this is Snow White. I don't have any. I... I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow. Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Any chance you can cross-reference these with the records in the business office? Maybe track her down that way. Well, there's no computer, so that might take a while. how long that'll take. You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. D and Dumb's office. I'll head over to Tweedledee's place. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on this end. Okay. Good luck, Bigby. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. How hard could be to find? It's like about fucking crane. Help! I got trapped by these couches. <laughs> Where are you? Is this an intervention? <laughs> Hang on, I can send this one. Oh, I don't on. know what this is. I'm frightened. <laughs> What? Hi, motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs>